Hello, good day everyone. Sir Kevin here and um, uh, this is product management class and today we'll be discussing about uh, chapter 3 that's uh, buyer behavior and if you remember in the past uh, we, we've discussed the factors affecting the buyer's decision and uh, the most common common thing that affects buyer behavior on purchasing a product first is the price of course uh, sino ba naman hindi na gusto na mas mababa yung presyo but that's not only the consideration when someone is purchasing a product according to your economic principle uh, that whenever price goes up no, the quantity demanded goes down and vice versa however uh, there are non uh, non price determinants of demand so i'll be repeating that idea that uh, there are other non-price determinant of demand and that includes the income, preferences, culture, and behavior of people. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be digging deeper to that idea, what constitute demand other than price. Okay, so our main agenda for for this session is uh, we we may know models of buyer behavior and then influences on the decision process a composite model of buyer behavior and adaptation and diffusion of new products last meeting we we've, we've discussed uh, different segments of a product uh, the uh, uh, the uh, what affects the demand in terms of prices and what kind of products are affected by elasticity no uh, so you may go back with our youtube video in that okay so uh, there are different factors influencing buyer behavior so personally you have different different um, reasons why you purchase a product one one of which is loyalty diba? even 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 um the prices of some products ay mas mataas no Merong, merong chance na bibili, bibili ka pa rin yan because you're loyal to the brand you're loyal to the product so that's one reason no? so uh, we'll, be, we'll be going through those discussion later okay so while group and organizational decisions differ in degree from individual buying decisions they are the same in kind so you can able to group them in accordance with uh, what group do they belong? No, so kumbaga there are stereotypes depending, depending on the kind of people or the group of people do they belong. So later you'll be seeing a diagram that will discuss um, what kind of people are affected by this kind of decision. Okay, so there there's a general agreement that individual behavior is a function of three factors. First is your person's personality motivation cognitive structure and uh, the learning process so what habits do you have attitudes no your perception towards things okay so second factor that affects your decision is your interaction with the environmental situation there are uh, there are by buying activities that uh, you are affected because it's dictated by the environment no especially just like the face mask right now so it's because um uh, the situational asks uh, for the purchase so you'll be purchasing on that so uh, that's the second reason third is the preference and structural uh, decisional model no? so uh, you personally have those values has those um, um, perspective on what kind of product will you be purchasing so uh, some of us may may, may have a, a varied decision na Oh, bumili ka ng mura, no? Bumili ka ng mura. Some of you might be thinking, ah, bumili ka na na yung mahal, yung branded para matagal. ba? So, those are consideration on buying behavior particular to, to a product. Okay? So, uh, take a look at this diagram. So, your personality, no? Your motivation, and uh, the perceived role, kung makikita ninyo, no? your perceived role, and uh, cognitive structure process your learning and stimuli affects behavior so your behavior no uh, gives stimulus to the decision 
no your environment as well gives stimulus to the decision no so na apektuhan ka na environment kanya nga nagbabago yung decision mo no minsan nagbabago ka ng perception kaya nagbabago yung decision mo no and there are also uh, marketing activities that are affecting buyer's decision if you remember in the past i i've been saying this as as a part of the illustration that marketing is just like fishing no so uh, ang ang ginagawa mo your company is the uh, is the what do you call that fishing pole no siya yung uh, sa uh, siya yung nang tawag doon pamingwet no and then the fishes are your market the type of people of course uh, the idea is we have different types of people and there are different types of fishes no so doon nakadepende yung klase ng pain na gagawin mo no na ilalagay mo doon sa hook para um, ma makuha o kumagat sa pain yung fishes o yung tao no so in that uh, marketing idea you might know what kind of perception you might know what kind of buyer behavior you might know what the, what's the perceived role and the personality of the group of people you are targeting no so please take note of that no lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo to uh, it it will uh, it will be uh, it will be applicable in many marketing uh, marketing ideas tamang effort para sa tamang tao okay so uh, components of the buyer's black box so uh, this, this is just the summary of uh, what is in the diagram so your your consumer behavior your behavior as a consumer is affected by your personality paano ka pinalaki ano yung tinuro sa na magulang mo the role set anong klasing um, status mo sa lipunan yung uh, yung uh, profession mo no it's a role set ibig sabihin ano yung ginagampanan mo might might, might um, be a factor of your decision. Siyempre, kung ikaw ay isang boss, no? pwedeng, pwedeng ma-apektuhan yung klase ng decision mo na, of course, you might, you might not be purchasing something na, na mumurahin. Pwede, ah. it might be affected. Okay? So, uh, the, the motivation, no? you know, we have different levels of motivation and we'll be seeing that later. No? So, merong mga tao that are motivated by the price, there are people that are motivated by the features and e any other reason. Your cognition is your the uh, mental processes on how you perceive perceive things. Okay, so of course, uh, factor in your learning. Whenever you learn learn of something, so uh, it is affected. It's affecting your behavior, and then your attitudes and predispositions, no? preferences and preference structures and your decision model. Of course, uh, ang mga tao ay merong iba't ibang klase ng um, model of decision making. Okay? So, first is the personality. Personality measures can be classified into three major categories. We have a comprehensive uh, personality, we have socially oriented personality, and intrapersonal, uh, intrapersonal oriented personality. So, what's a comprehensive one? Your personality is is dynamic and it's involved uh, social orientation and your personal orientation to yourself. No? So, it's a combination of socially oriented and intra-person oriented. So, those are the major categories. Kanya ang comprehensive. Eh, no? It encompasses nearly all of the things that may be factors of your personality. So, uh, socially oriented means your your personality depends on the group of people that you uh, that you that you belong. And in person uh, oriented is that is within yourself. Now, that might be a personality of you that um, ikaw lang ang may alam. So, uh, going back with the Johari's window, that might uh, that might be helpful to you. No, so there are major personality attributes according to Myers and Briggs. No? So these are the descriptions. No? It might it might be attributed to this. I'll be sending you this uh, this presentation para mas makita ninyo. But I'll not be focusing so much on this. No? Because um, uh, again, dito kasi tayo, we have different personalities. So these are just um, attributes that affecting those uh, personalities. So we go now to the roles. I, I think you have a social science subject and uh, roles have been discussed. What's a role? 
role is a social position occupied by an individual, including the goals of that position and the behavioral repertoire appropriate to it and the attainment of these goals. That's according to Webster and Wint, no? That um, meron kang ginagampanan in the group in a group of people. So take a take a look at uh, those uh, those idea that um, this group of people that has this uh, kind of roles ay um, ganito sila bumili, no? Uh, it it might be dif- it might be different when when we think about the idea of stereotyping. Pero that's that's the, the reality. We can group group people according to their role and their buying preferences, no? Uh, because in in a certain in a certain group, no? In a certain group uh, with the same role, no? Uh, their buying preferences may be similar. Again, may be similar. Okay, so we go now to motivation, and this is one of the most complex uh, factors on buying behavior. So your motivation is an inner state that activates or moves people towards goals. So what moves you forward? No, uh, ano ba ang motivation mo on purchasing a product? No, of course, meron kang tinitignan. Of course, we have different levels to that to that matter. Okay, so first is uh, there's a low, uh, the lower satisfaction of the orga- uh, organism, the more search of alternative programs it will undertake. So, kung mas mababa ang level ng satisfaction, mas marami kang iisipin, uh, marami kang hahanapin, no? Di ba? That's just in just just like in a in a relationship. If you're not satisfied, pwedeng maghanap ka ng mas maraming mga bagay pa, di ba? So number two, uh, the, ser- the more search, the higher the expected value of reward. Kapag mas maraming nahahanap at nakapili ka, it's, uh, it's uh, the expectation of the value ay tataas. Number three, the higher the expected value of reward, the higher the expected satisfaction. No? Ganun din, kasi mas mahirap, di ba? Tapos it will pay back to you. So the higher the expected satisfaction also, the higher the level of aspiration to the organism. And the higher the level of aspiration, the lower the satisfaction. Pag mas mataas yung level ng inahanap mo, no? uh, tendency you will not be satisfied uh, about that, pro- uh, that, uh, that product or that decision. Uh, take, a, uh, take time to think about this. That uh, minsan, dahil nasanay tayo, no sa isang mamahali ng quality ng produkto and we purchase something na mas mura at uh, substandard because you just you just think you just be thinking na minsan mo lang gagamitin yan no Ma- mataas yung level na hinahanap mo tapos nagbayad ka ng mura na dissatisfied ka no nagkukulangan ka no uh, di mo masisisi minsan because of the level of motivation di mo masisisi iba na whenever they experience yung mga branded na mga produkto ay hindi nila malet go yung idea about uh, the brand that's uh, that's in consumerism by the way no okay so ganito yan we have different levels of um, motivation that's according to maslow that um, we have levels of needs first is the physiological needs and then the safety safety needs love esteem and self actualization no? Uh, people differ on this. That the physiological needs, no? physiological needs, are those what we call survival needs. No? Ito yung according to Maslow na dapat unang sinasatisfy ng tao. No? And then, akit sa level ng safety needs, and then magiging uh, love and esteem and self-actualization. Uh, take a look at this illustration. Uh, uh, take uh, time to reflect on this uh, illustration. Uh, first, we need to uh, deal first with our physiological need, survival need. No? So, pag survival lang ang hinahanap natin, we just need uh, food, shelter, clothing, and then um, uh, what other thing? Um, medication, for that matter. No? Uh, physiological need are just the needs that uh, will make you survive. No? Kumbaga, hindi ka mabubuhay kung wala yan. They are very general. So, kailangan mo ng tubig. 
no? sa wala yung brand, wala yung specification. No? So kung kailangan mo ng tubig that's a physi uh, physiological need, o nga naman kung uh, kung umiinom ka sa nawasa sa mula sa mula sa gripo, uh, ang isang timbang tubig might be 50 or 40 cents cents lang, no? Pero kapag you are, you'll be thinking of the safety and the quality, no? Uh, you might be thinking of purchasing um, purified uh, and then um, distilled then among other uh, type of um, processed water na pwedeng inumin. No? You might be thinking of safety but ang kakibat niyan is gastos. Di ba? Tataas yung level ng need. Di ba? And then, uh, of course, pag tumas yung klase ng level of need, pag i na lang natin love, esteem, at saka self-actualization, No? Uh, this pertains to yourself Self-actualization is whenever Nagagamitin mo yan, anong feeling mo Esteem is about the pride Love is about the belongingness no? So, isa-summarize na lang natin no? Tapos, you want to be on a group no? You want to be belong That's part of love and esteem Na kapag uh, Yung grupo ng tao na kinabibilangan mo no? Ay gumagamit ng et Ang tubig nila ay Wilkins tubig nila ay absolute. So, that is tantamount to another price. Nagiging specific yung gusto mo. And also, in the self-actualization. Ano ba hanap mo? Gusto ko ganitong detalye. No? So, habang tumatas yung level ng need, tumatas din yung um, expectations, at syempre, tumatas din yung presyo o halaga nung, uh, nung, nung binibili mo. So, it might differ. Di ba? So, kung ikaw ay klase ng tao na nahirapan sa buhay, You just need to uh, to uh, address physiological needs first. Now that's the first thing that you need to address. However, kanya nga nakakaroon ng mga financial problem ang karamihan sa atin because um, despite of uh, the economic problems, the economic situations ng isang pamilya o isang tao, no, hindi lang physiological need ang ina-address niya. Minsan malaking consideration yung love at esteem, may nakakahiya naman kasi. 'Di ba? Oh, so, merong iba't ibang perception about how do you reward people and their expectation about products and services. Now, this is uh, governed by the Maslow's need hierarchy or the Maslow's hier um, hierarchy of motivation. Now, so, there are different levels. Now, so, should be... No? Kanya nga iba sa atin, di ba? Um, Whenever they are they are marketed with the good products na napaka specific, no? Branded, no? Uh, it pays, 'di ba? It, it it takes the pay, magastos, mahal. No, that's uh, the self actualization of uh, the the product. That's why minsan nawawalan sila ng ng uh, budget sa budget line nila dun sa physiological need. Kumbaga nakakalimutan nila o they they omit on budgeting for that no so we we might be thinking of this as part of our buying behavior personally as consumer and then we have cognition cognition is an, an individual's understanding of an object or concept derived from the individual perception attitudes beliefs learned behaviors and the needs so kumbaga ito na process na natuto ka na no pina-process mo yung isang concept tapos um sinasagot mo, no? O kumbaga, ito yung ginagawa mong decision, no? So that that's how important cognition is, no? Uh, the mental process that comprise a person's con con cognitive uh, structure fall into two categories. We have a selective one and a decision one, decision related. A selective a selective cognition is focused on the attention, perception, and retention. So, paano ba, no? Uh, selective means pa, sel, you're selecting the attention. No? Merong mga tao nakikinig pero pinipili niya, pinapakinggan niya. So parang ganun ang dating. Perception is uh, meron siyang sariling sariling perspective. No? Na, na minsan ay pipiliin niya lang yung kung ano pinaniniwalaan niya. And then selective retention, pipiliin niya kung ano lang yung i-retain niya. Parang sa pag-aaral niya, that's it. That's part of the cognition eh. No? And then there are decision related. No? Uh, is, um, they are basing uh, they are basing the the process depending on uh, the circumstances. That's decision 
related. Kumbaga pina-process nilang mabuti. It might be coming from different bases, no? So most buying decisions are the outcome of a process involving knowing, feeling, and acting, no? Of course, what have you learned about the product? What are the experiences of others? What have you experienced about the product? Bibiling ko ba siya ulit? Hahanap ako ng iba? Ano na didinig ko sa ibang mga produkto, no? Are part of your cognition, no? Uh, napaprocess mo kasi yan. So, there are many variants of this hierarchy of effects model. The simplest and best known is the AIDA. Uh, awareness, interest, desire, and action. No? So, please please remember this, that marketing involves of all of those process of delivering satisfaction. No? So, first thing first, if you, if you want to be successful, you, you need to make people aware of your product. Next is, you create interest. Not just letting letting people know your product but creating interest and uh, after that you build activities that will let people be uh, desiring that product and take action na bibilin yung produktong yan no? so dun magbabase yung mga activities mo sa marketing so your cognition or your thinking affects feeling and then your feeling affects action that's what we call response response to uh, your stimuli na isip niya. Siyempre, may advertising. So, you're, they are thinking and then they are feeling and they're taking action. So, it first it first um, focus on the inter, um, attention, naging interest, and then naging, uh, naging desire at nag-take ng action. Okay? So, ganun yung itsura ng cognition. Okay? Then, an alternative version which incorporates a feedback loop contains five steps. Problem recognition. You recognize a problem. And then, hanap ka ng uh, information. Evaluate alternatives. Your choices. And uh, what, are your, uh, what are your feelings after post-purchase experience? No? Okay. So, ganito. Um, may problema ka. Hahanap ka ngayon na alternative. So, anong klaseng produkto? No? And then evaluate of, of alternatives Know about the product diba? Ganyan naman, kung bibili ka sa online Ganon din ginagawa mo Hanap ka ng mga supplier Or ng mga seller na makapag-satisfy Siyempre mas mura Maganda yung mga reviews Again, it's not just the price no? So pipili ka and then what are the post-purchase experience Alternatively, the buying decision May be seen as comprising four stages That's the awareness Search and evaluation Decision and post Decisional behavior Okay So awareness contains three steps Environmental stimuli So uh, what do the environment um, What do the environment uh, Make you feel No Okay So uh, what uh, What factors Or this their activities No That from the environment That uh, That is encouraging A decision from you No Attentional and perceptual filters no? So, katulad nung kanina sa cognition, there are um, select selection of your attention. No? How about your reception and inter, uh, interpretation of stimuli? Parang sa, ano, parang sa uh, communication process, there's, uh, uh, there's uh, uh, sender and then there's a receiver. And the process goes like uh, the, the sender will, uh, will uh, make, make a message, create a message through uh, medium no uh, tapos uh, that's what we call encoding tapos you decode as a receiver you decode the information so that's what we call reception and interpretation minsan uh, yung isang message iba ng interpretation no tulad ng pag sinabi mong sige no di mo masasabi kung sige o o o sige hindi di ba so uh, depending on the receiver so you should you should know that uh, awareness has that uh, three uh, three steps no so kumbaga kung if you're if you're um, sending information you should be careful and also you should make sure that the receiver uh, has that um, stimuli no um kumbaga uh, ma-receive niya na maayos ang ma-interpret niya maayos so search and evaluation also contains three steps Information processing, both short and long-term memory stores, brand beliefs and brand attitude. No, kasi um, it it matters, no. 
na um, pinakakatiwalaan niyan o meron ng interest yung tao dyan, no? And then, the formation of purchase intention. So, uh, eto kasi yung decision eh. Tatlo yung klase ng decision. No? When people uh, purchase products first, uh, will they buy? Will they defer? Or will they reject? Para pag nananalangin ka daw, kapag nananalangin ka, tatlo yung klase ng sagot. First, uh, yes. Second, no. Third, wait. Parang sa buying decision. No? Buy, yes. Defer, wait. Ibig sabihin, baka pwedeng may gawin ka pa para makapag-contribute sa decision niya na bumili na. No? Baka may pwede ka pang gawin. Kung baga, makonvince mo siya na bibili siya. No? And this, is, will be, this will be tricky because it involves uh, sales promotion and other um, marketing strategies. And then, the last one is reject. Of course, you, you need to know uh, why it is rejected. No? Para makapag-plana ka. Anyway, so that's... Uh, Uh, that's more specific topics. No? Post-decisional behavior includes evaluation, review of beliefs and attitudes. Tama ba yung naging decision mo uh, sa consumer? So, feedback to memory. No? Kung baga, it's, it's uh, learning. No? What have you learned? Okay? So, perception is also a factor affecting by your behavior. Perception is a complex process by which people select organize and interpret sensory stimulation into a meaningful picture of the world. Perception is reality. What is in the people's mind? No? What do they think about it? No? So it, it involves several factors. Ano yung natutunan nila? Anong meron yung produktong yan? No? So it's complex. No? So there are different reasons because of the perception. Baka yun yung pinaaral sa kanya, pin pinangaral sa kanya. That's why ganyan yung tingin niya. No? So, merong mga pamilya na sabi nila, o, oh, doon ka lagi sa mura. Meron naman doon ka lagi sa quality. So, that's depending on how, how they are uh, raised. And perception is combination of different factors. So, stimulus factors are neutral or uh, depending on the objective but are interpreted, in, interpreted selectively by the receiver in terms of their expectations and preparatory set. This is subjective and determined by a person's attitude, beliefs, and values. Okay? So, attitudes, beliefs, and values are acquired through conditioning and learning. So, uh, one tip for uh, product managers, future managers for you, um, uh, uh, such as uh, you, uh, tayong mga, uh, kayong mga listeners no, and viewers, no? uh, that's what we call conditioning. If you know the attitudes and beliefs of and values of people, no? uh, you, you may use conditioning as your strategy. Conditioning may be thought of as developing an habitual response to a given stimulus based on a direct experience. No? So, makikita mo dito, how do people respond to this? Alam mo yung conditioning ng tao. No? So, naiintindihan mo, as well as yung perception niya. No? So, Uh, learning arises from conditioning but may also be acquired by thinking and memorization. So, um, yun, uh, it's, it's also a factor no, affecting yung learning as made mention dun sa ano. Uh, sa nasa perspective na kasi tayo. Your perspective may be also part of the learning. Okay? So, uh, this goes hand in hand. What you have learned, uh, um, what, what um, experiences do you have that's memory, What behavior do you have and attitude no? yung na-develop mo through time? So, that may, uh, that may uh, be part of your um, uh, perception. So, learning is a process that comprises all or some or one of these uh, three steps, inventing an original solution to a problem or thinking, committing a solution to memory or memorizing, becoming efficient at uh, applying the solution to a problem or forming a habit. Okay? So, learning is a function of a uh, relative advantage as a compatibility, depende, compatibility, complexity, iba't iba, divisibility, nahahati, no? so you are categorizing your learning there, and communicability. Okay? So, you may relay that. No? The most direct influence on learning is the social group. Yun nga, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. You learn from your family this kind of habit. You learn from your family this kind of attitude. No? 
Kanya nga, uh, minsan na stereotype tayo because of our uh, actions, because of the group where, where we where we live. No? Um, it, it's a reality. No? It's a reality because of our culture. We are single out no? at, at some points. No? Okay, so you, you belong in a uh, group, uh, just as the family in the social class. Oh, no? Okay, so tendency when you are part of the social class in this kind of role, no, uh, meron kang iba't ibang mga uh, uh, perception and also attitude towards things. Halimbawa, kapag ang isang tao nirewardan ng 500 pesos, yung satisfaction nila iba't ibang level. Iba't ibang level. Based on the culture, based on the learning, based on the circumstances, based on their motivation. How do they differ? Okay? So, yung mga lower economic status, uh, social status, as well as yung lower roles sa isang organization, such as some janitors, uh, or people uh, people in the uh, lower ranking, eh, pwedeng motivation nila na pag narewardan sila ng 500, sobrang saya na nila. No? Pero yung mga nasa itas na roles at also yung um, uh, management levels, no? hindi naman sila sumasaya. Or kung sumayaman sila because of the treat, uh, hindi ito tumatagal. At hindi sila na motivate Bagkus, minsan, dadahin lang sa ibang bagay. Kasi nga, yung mga nasa babang economic status, pangkain na nila yun eh. Diba? If you remember motivation earlier, that um, parte na ng kanilang uh, buhay, na survival needs yung para dun sa perang yon, no? So it depends. Your culture might depend on your uh, social class and the family or the group of people that you belong, no? Okay. So there are different behaviors. There are different behaviors for the group of bikers. There are group of people. Um, pe uh, there are different perception and um, response or buyer decision to the group of financial advisors and the likes, no? So Pwede, pero depende. Okay? So, culture is a set of uh, learned beliefs, values, attitudes, habits, and forms because you're within that environment and you're honed. No? Ibig sabihin, you are nurtured there. So, a social group is a social entity which allows individuals to interact with one another in relation to a particular phenomena and an aggregate of individuals standing in certain observable relation to each other. So, that's a family group, the work group, or the friendship groups. Now, according to one, one principle or isang um, quotation, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. No? At the very least, uh, there will be similar similarities. No? Again, at the very least, they have similarities. No? So, it's not an... Uh, singling out but um, they are telling something about you because you are a member of this group because uh, tendency according uh, even according to this principle no because you are honed with the same environment no you are within the same group no you are honed you are nurtured that and you are trained at some point na uh, maging ganon so an attitude is a predisposition to behave no kumbaga ganon na talaga siya so how do you react so, for complex activities with high perceived risk of high involvement, attitude formation usually precedes, precedes behavior. So, it's uh, in low involvement situation or action leads to attitude formation. Okay, so, uh, it is a clear, it is clear that purchase decision is an attempt to satisfy a felt need through the evaluation of relevant information. No? Again, it's a combination of all of those factors, no? but uh, it might differ, and uh, it might not be, might not be um, precise, that precise. Pero you might, you might be ending on a, on a, uh, on a relative, relative decision, no? Mas malapit or significant decision, but not perfect decision. Okay, so. We have different disciplines na pinag-uusapan kasi dito that's economics, psychology, sociology that emphasize different factors in the um, seeking to explain this buying behavior. So kung napansin nyo kanina, that's organizational behavior, that's economics, uh, that's social sciences, no? and among other uh, disciplines involved. Maraming. Psychology is also one. No? 
So a uh, simple composite model of the buying behavior may be expressed. No? Uh, ano ba yung mga yon? No? So ito yung mga yon. The purchase, the purchase is equivalent to uh, the function na sinasabi, no? Uh, the combination of this, no? Combination of S, S, P, and what are those? S is the stimulus or the stimuli and the selective perception, no? If the selective perception, no? Within, now within the felt need, no? Information search, the interest, and then the cost-benefit analysis or the desire, no? And then the behavior response or the action, no? And their post-purchase evaluation, no? So, yun, it's the purchase is a function of yung stimuli and then the um, uh, selective perception and those um, felt need, DFN, no? uh, enabling um, conditions and yun nga, our, that involves awareness, interest, desire, and actions. No? And uh, your post-purchase evaluation. As it becomes increasingly difficult to develop na develop a sustainable competitive advantage through objective performance factors on which transactions may be negotiated. So, this less tangible subjective service factors assume greater importance and become uh, determinant under this condition. That's image, the reputation, no? and relationship are critical success factors in the buying behavior. No? So, what, what do people perceive about you? Ano alam nila? No? How do you build uh, customer loyalty? So, uh, while while the organizational uh, buyer experience the same mental processes as an individual, motivation, cognition, and learning, their uh, behavior differs from the situation because it influenced by uh, organizational goals. No? Maraming stimulus. No? It's subject to interpersonal relationship, depende sa grupo ng tao. No? And of course, their learning and then access to much information, both internal and external, that, that um, changes the buying behavior. No? So, okay. Uh, look at this. We have different adapters, adapter categories. No? Uh, there are what we call people or consumers that are innovators, uh, willing to try something new every time. Yung mga bago. But there are... Um, early adopters, yung mga yes, madaling bumili. No? Hanggang sa eto mga late adopters, that's the laggards na no? nahuhuli. No? So, uh, that that's pretty much, much it for our buyer behavior. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed and learned, learned with our discussion because uh, buying decision is always uh, depending on the type of people, no? your target market, the roles, the culture, the beliefs, the behavior, perception, and learning of people, that's why it's very tricky. And you need to understand them no? uh, and um, develop strategies para mapain mo sila. Thank you very much, Sir Kevin here, and uh, see you on to the next one.